Hey homies, welcome back to a new analog horror video. So today we're going to be revisiting a series that I checked out about eight months ago, and this is called The White Stag Education. Now there was three videos at the time that I reacted to it previously, so if you want to watch that reaction first before you check out this new one, that will have two videos in, then check out the link in the description. This analog horror series is very well done from what I can remember. I'm going to shut up and we're going to dive in and maybe go and see some more deer. Yeah, deer me. <laughs> right, anyway, enough of that. Let's get in. Video 4, Stranger Danger Puppet Show. Here we go again. White Stag Education. Damn. Gonna get educated by a deer. <laughs> We've been saying this on a pre the previous video. <laughs> it's like, what's she on about? But anyway, Forest Friends Stranger Danger Special. Scary. Don't like strangers. I don't like them. Scary. Scary. Well, hello. Who are you? Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Rex. What's your name? You're Rex, are you? And what's your name? My name is Rat. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. I can't wait to tell all the other forest friends about you. I'm not My your friend. What are you about? Friend. I love how he's like, I'm your friend. I'm like, mate, I don't even know how you are. You know what I mean? And like, anyway, saying that, I have more friends in the forest than he does. And these are some of them. Tell it's a rat, but yet... Would you like to come camping with us? Uh, not really, but for this video, I guess you I'll have what? to. Great! Oh, great. Let, let, tell There's us why I have to anyway. Lots of fun activities, like hiking and fishing. And you'll even get to meet Ranger Luke. Fishing sounds oh, good, no. don't know I. That reminds me. I have to get packed. I'll be right back. You should have been packed ages ago, bro. Why are you taking so long? I don't need this. This the could hell? be useful, but no. This doesn't seem good to go camp camping. What's he? Whoa! Uh, what was the pussy cat about? Why are you throwing things at a pussy cat, bro? Weird. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's from Tom and Jerry. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh god, not on Anna. Oh no. Where's Rex? Uh, ran away, I think. Wait. I've never met you before. All right, I'm ready to go camping. Oh, hey, Anna. Why does she look so scared of me all of a sudden? My new friend. New friend? Rex, how do you know they're not a stranger? If any kids are watching this, you need to make sure. Never talk to strangers, okay? Never talk to them. <laughs> never. I do that at my age now. But anyway. I don't know. Maybe they are a stranger. But how can we know for sure? Good question, that. Let's go ask Ranger Luke. He knows everything about stranger danger. You're oh, right. God. Come on, let's go camping. So I got a small feeling that this Luke guy might be a bit of a weirdo, but we'll, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> I don't know. It just won't surprise me. I like this music, though. Oh, is this the dude? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, he looks pretty genuine, I guess. Ranger Luke, Rex and I are here. Hey guys. Yo. Hi, Hi Ranger, Ranger Luke. Luke. <laughs> you guys are just in time to set up camp. Anna and I have a very important question. Already about Rex. strangers. What is it? I met someone new today, and they seem really nice and great, mm -hmm. but I don't know if they're a stranger or not. Maybe. <laughs> Well, they certainly don't look like a stranger to me. Hi, I'm Ranger Luke. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yay, what a relief! Yeah, I'm so glad that I found an honest and true friend like you, and not a stranger. Do you know what? This kind of scares me a little bit, though, because, like, how it's so easy for these puppets or whatever, right, just to, like, bring someone into their situation. Like, how do you know I'm not, like, a mass murderer? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Or, like, a... Someone that's like just gonna completely just kill everybody. You guys, remember the ways to spot a stranger. Now, what are those uh, ways, then, bro? Um, not really. That's all right. We'll learn together with our new friend. Yay! Okay. Teach me. Oh god, we got a song of ways. This is good. 
Oh, please do. This is the story of Little Red. Went to visit Granny who was sick in her bed. This is banger, bro. Oh, let me go back a minute on that. So I remember these bits here. So the two uh, red marks on the... Uh, tree they were in a previous video about saying they were like trail marks and i think they were like different trails in the forest and like i think you could get lost or something if you didn't follow them or something like that mm, okay danger This is catchy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I really want to dance, but it's going to be too embarrassing for this video, but yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm an absolute dumbass, but I've only just clocked that. This is Red Riding Hood. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even think about it until now, and I'm like, duh. Let's save. Whoa, hello, Big Bad Wolf. Bloody hell, that was a creepy image. <laughs> what well, did I like? That kind of got me on edge a bit then. Big Bad Wolf. What I have to say about this Unlock Horror series, right, is how, like, you it's meant to be, like, horrific, right? And, like, you're meant to have this whole thing of, like, creepy images and all that stuff, right? But this song, right, like, I haven't, I, I don't think there's ever been actually, like, an actual Unlock Horror series that's had a song in it, which, like, when you think about it, it's actually really creepy, the song itself, but you don't need images to actually make it stand out and be, like, in your face. It's just the background of the song. It's just next level, dude, and this is why this series does really well, and, yeah, I had to come back to it, and I'm glad I have, because now I had a good old beat to listen to. It's going to stick in my head now, though, but there we are. Hey, ducks, what are you saying, bro? Want some bread, mate? <laughs> sorry. I like ducks, all right? Oh, swans. Oh, I'm sorry, geese. Geese can suck out. Don't like geese. This is what happened when I was with a uh, goose last time. What's up, goose? So you're hissing at me and you think you're all big and bad? Oh, hey. Oh, God! Well, there's one of those. There's one of those squares again as well. Damn. Forest friends. Woo. Let's go. We've got two new people here. This hike is so much We've got Oswald Thompson. and Gleason. Okay, cool. I agree, Oswald. But I'm exhausted from all this walking. Yeah, I can walk 10 meters and I nearly die. But I used to be able to do this back in the day, though. Do you know where we are? In the forest. The oldest tree in the forest should be coming up soon. Well, mm. How do you know that, Oswald? I feel like we've been walking forever. I can imagine oh, that. Listen, we've been following the trailblazers, so we'll be okay. Yeah, okay. So those trailblazers are the things that you we saw on the tree. So they always said if you follow them, then you'll make sure you'll find the right way. To be honest, though, because this is analog horror, it wouldn't surprise me somehow, though, if it Fs it up, right? So if you, even if you follow the trails, you're going to get into a bad position. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We forgot to use a map. Are we on a... 
false trail? You may well be. It's okay. Do you hear the melody? That means the strangers aren't hunting. Okay. Well, as long as we stand still and be quiet, we'll be okay. So I'm assuming if the strange, they're so they're strangers in the forest, and if they're whistling, they're not hunting. But if they're not, then they must be. Then yeah. I guess that's what we're getting. Whoa. Right, what the hell? What was that? Something went a bit. Hello! Oh my and god. Welcome to Mr. Gungus's game of the day. Hi, pig. Today, we are going to be playing Spot the Stranger. That sounds fun. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm down for playing. Let's go. Spot the Stranger. Okay, I was going to pause the video, but no, nah, I'll just let it go. I'll let it keep going. I think the one on the left is the stranger. And yeah, it must be. Can you spot the stranger? Yeah, I can. Like, they're just in that bush. They're in the bush. <laughs> uh, there is no sound on this also, guys. Um, just to clarify why, uh, because it's got a copyright strike on the original video. So they had to remove the audio. Um, so just let you guys know. Just in case. Okay, so they're both strangers, and there's the bear. If that's meant to be what it is. Oh God, can you just imagine, like, walking up and seeing that, though? Oh, man. I would be creeped. The adversary? Whoa, what the hell is that? It rivers beneath the forest. Is it some kind of, like, snake? I was going to say dinosaur, but no, it's more of a snake, I'm assuming, of some sort, right? Oh, what was that? There was a little bit that come up there, what did it say? So after trying to pause this for about 10 minutes, I did get it. It wasn't 10 minutes, but yeah, so the burning sores protect us. So, do the burning sores protect you from the adversary, which is a snake? So then if you look about it, snakes have always been looked at as, like, evil. So, possibly? Maybe. So is the other side? Whoa! Playing Mr. Gungus's game of the day. I had a load of fun. But hopefully we can play again. And the adversary doesn't kill me, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Yo. The sun is set. The day is old. But we can't rest until our stories are told. Yeah, tell me a story. Let's now do it. Time of the night where we gather around the campfire and talk about everything we did today. We play games. Hey, Rex and Anna. What did you guys do today? Oh, oh, oh! Oh my Today, god. We went fishing. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I caught a whole lot of fish today. I think I caught the most. What kind I of fish did you get, most, though? But I caught the biggest fish. Damn. Yeah, right. Well, what kinds of fish did you find? Ah, there we go. I wanted to know. We caught some black banded sunfish, creek chub suckers, and even largemouth bass. Oh. More, but we ran out of worms. <laughs> I don't know if they're real or not. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. Even if you did run out of worms. Yeah, we'll definitely remember to pack more for next time. That's a good idea, that. Gleason and Oswald, what did you guys do today? We went hiking. Ooh. Yeah. Well, that didn't sound too enthusiastic. Did you guys have fun? Something must have happened, right? Well, I mean, we did see something with them earlier, didn't we? The oldest tree in the forest, but we got lost. Yeah, there we are. Before we even knew it, it was too late. Mm. We heard the strangers whistling. Creepy. What did it sound like? It was a song. And what did you do? We stopped, stayed quiet, and when we couldn't hear the song anymore, we turned around. Mm. Good job, Gleason and Oswald. Now, what would you have done if it wasn't a song they were whistling? We would have closed our eyes and ran away. Like I would have done. <laughs> Always remember, strangers have no regard for your well-being. Right. They aren't like us. Do not follow them into the woods, no matter how friendly they look. Yep. See you on another episode of Forest Friends! I actually really enjoyed that. That was actually really good for the first one. Oh, in memory of the Grand Wood Poor. 
whole fire. What? So these are these kids the puppets? I think they might well be, you know, because the names are the same. What the hell? What the hell, bro? My god, dude, this ending has gone from a very nice sort of video to a dark end, at least for this one. So to me, I'm going to kind of give a little bit of analysis now just on this. So you've had obviously normally in analog horror, you know, strain like puppets are normally used as like a danger or they're like against you. Um, but these puppets seem to be quite nice. And they're trying to help you out with a stranger situation. But then this ending has just got dark because now it seems that the kids are the puppets. So did the strangers or this adversary, which I kind of feel is a bit on the evil side, I'm going to assume, the snake or whatever it is, that they did they like kill the kids? And now the kids are like in puppets or something as like spiritual stuff, maybe? I don't know, man. It's a bit next level. We're going to move on to the next video now. Video 5. Grand Wood Park Ranger Training. We're now getting some Park Ranger training. Is it going to be trained by a stag? <laughs> I'm joking. Probably by a uh, ranger, I'm assuming. Let's have a look. Congratulations Yo. on being accepted into the Grand Wood Park Ranger program. Let's go, bro. You're on your way to fulfilling one of the most important niches in the oh, New yeah. Jersey Pine Barrens ecosystem. Nice, I'm excited, bro. However, <laughs> there are still a few more basics you'll need to learn okay. before you head out onto the field. Alright, teach me. Meet Ranger Craig. He's a new ranger here just like you. He's a cool guy, isn't he? He's eager to protect and preserve. Me too. I'm very eager. <laughs> wait, Craig. I have to tell you some things before you begin. Okay, cool. What's my name? I'll be Ranger Rat. Actually, kind of goes pretty well. I've done it, Ranger Rat. <laughs> okay, so you may now choose to resign and leave the Grandwood Rain Ranger program or continue with your training. If you choose to resign, notify your training supervisor immediately. You cannot resign later. The contents of this tape are highly confidential. This is your final warning. Ooh. It's quite intense, isn't it? So if you leave, what's going to happen? Does the adversary get you? <laughs> I don't know. So we've got environmentally sensitive and unsafe areas. Just like any normal park ranger, you'll be given an assigned area to monitor. Okay. Sounds pretty Your simple. Duty, above all else, is to protect park guests from any and all threats. All right. While on patrol, you will notice trails without correct blazing more proper documentation on your map. Yeah, so those are the the, the things These that we see, the marks on it. Lead to inner Grandwood. Okay. If you find a false trail not yet marked with a red triangle on your master map, mm -hmm. take note of its approximate location and report it later. Why can't I do it straight away? Visitors are prohibited from walking all false trails. Okay. If you see a visitor veering onto a false trail, kindly ask them to return to the marked trails. So do you know what I would do, right? If they didn't return to it, this is what I would do to them if they didn't return to it. I go to your room. <laughs> to Whoa. the question, do not hesitate to aggress. Who the hell is that? That's not one of those strangers, is it? If you find a trail marker with no correlating mark on your master map, scrub the blaze off with a sponge and mineral spirits. Then, dry it with a clean cloth. Okay. This is a false trail. Make sure it is marked accordingly. I will do, no problem. <laughs> a lot to do for a part ranger, bro. I don't think I will. I think I might have to leave. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Uh, okay, so tempting sights and sounds. So we're we gonna hear a bit more about this yes, whistling um, stuff, are we, or whatever? Park to experience the best <clears throat> trails the Pine Barrens have to offer. Okay. There are many species of birds native to the park, 
making mm. it a hot spot for bird watchers and ornithologists across the globe. Unfortunately, visitors oftentimes fall victim to clever imitation. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. Strangers are bipedal organisms. Uh, that live in okay. So got a raccoon and use a whistling tone that sounds mm. similar to bird song. There are two known whistling patterns strangers demonstrate. Okay. So we're gonna find out more about a what the puppets heard last time then. Signifies a feeding gambit is underway. Feeding gambit. A feeding gambit poses no immediate threat to trail abiding visitors, but may lead them into unsafe territory. Then you get eaten alive, maybe, I assume. If you see park guests entranced by the stranger's song, kindly remind them to stay on the marked trails. Investigation oh. of the feeding gambit is unnecessary and not worth it. That's not the adversary there, is it? The snake, is it? I know that sounds really stupid, but. Maybe? When safe areas become unsafe, I would not want to be doing a park ranger role, a job at all, because this so sounds so intense. And saying that, I've just noticed some more markings on the tree there. Hmm. Maybe they're talking Sometimes, about the end. Oh. Your designated area will fall victim to a hunting gambit. Okay, there they are. A hunting gambit on a marked trail is an uncommon act of desperation. But it's still important to prepare well, for That's very important, yeah, I totally agree with you. <laughs> You'll know a hunting gambit is in progress by the stranger's erratic whistling pattern. Okay. This whistling is how mm. they communicate. Refer to your handbook for more information regarding how to further decipher stranger whistling patterns. Yeah, I don't I don't like this whistling. Urge all nearby park visitors to close their eyes and run yep. in the direction of your voice toward the start of the trail. Come on! Come on! Come on! Flip and move! Sorry, I had to get involved, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got really into it there. Active hunting game with the Grandwood National Park headquarters via your handheld radio. So what happens if I don't have it then? <laughs> to alert all other Whoa. Rangers to evacuate their designated areas. Sounds like a if World War II flipping sound, doesn't it? It's crazy. There's back to the park entrance where a head count will take place. Oh god, I hope they will come back. Once the head count has concluded, all park rangers will be dispatched to search for any unaccounted for visitors Damn. and to subdue the active hunting gambit. I was waiting for something like a gambit to pop out then for a minute. <laughs> I was waiting for something to go. Bruh! Okay, so we're going to subdue a hunting gambit. So we're going to basically kill the bastard. <laughs> I'm assuming. After dispersing, oh. you will return to your designated area to subdue the hunting gambit and search for any unaccounted for visitors. This is like the worst part of the job, though, I would say. 100%. Unlikely, you will recover any bodies. They're like straight in. It's very unlikely. Strangers will not retreat unless enough sustenance is gathered or a majority of the advancing strangers are subdued. Right. Is that one in the background there? You can see like a little figure or some, something. My god, bruh. Oh my god, there they, there's one. Bro, they look creepy as that, don't they? I don't like this. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh no. Rangers hunt in packs, so attempting to flee is futile. Mm. Whoa, hello. Oh, look at them all, bro. Damn. Being on your own, though, is not well. a stranger, do not hesitate to aggress. Whoa, fucking... Damn, bro. Come out of nowhere. Whoa, you can actually... Well, cease fire. No, let's keep shooting them, why not? No matter how human their cries sound. 
My God, bro. Whoa. Surrendered their body to the forest. Damn. Doing them a service by freeing their soul. Wow. Whoa. That gunshot made me jump for a second there. <laughs> My God. This is getting really dark all of a sudden again, isn't it? You shouldn't feel no guilt. Damn, dude. Congratulations! Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> this concludes the Grand Woo! Park Ranger training video. Lovely! Woo! You will now be led to the physical training course. Where you will be put to the test. I'm so glad I ain't gotta do the physical one, I'd fail that in two minutes. Watching a video is fine. <laughs> yeah, here at Grandwood is a job unlike any other. And we're thrilled to have you on our side. Mmm. I'm Ranger Dan. Yo, Dan. And I'm Ranger Luke. Hey, Luke's back. Woo! Stay safe out there. <laughs> oh, this is amazing, bro. <laughs> Even though it is dark as anything, but it's brilliant. I, don't, I still don't want to do a job out there, though. F that, bro. Imagine that. No. I could not do it. No, 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 no. Well, we just had some park ranger training, and now I'm ready to go and be a park ranger that I really don't want to be, but for this one time, Ranger Rat <laughs> is here to help you out, guys, and keep you safe. <laughs> In the forest. There we are, guys. That was some more White Stag education. And damn, the first three videos we watched eight months ago were crazy. But I tell you, these two were even darker. Uh, in regards to like the law of it and uh, what was going on with it, I can definitely say, from my perspective, that the kids were definitely the puppets. Um, they obviously had gone missing or they were out in the forest. Potentially the strangers had killed them, which... You know, they they changed the puppet somehow, uh, spiritually, maybe. And obviously what they're trying to do is they're trying to protect you uh, from going into the forest and getting effed over by these strangers like they did, possibly. Um, obviously, it looks like that the rangers do also kill these strangers as well, and they feel no guilt, as we saw on the second video. I still feel there's a little bit more to it. I think the adversary is like the higher up sort of like god of some sort i wouldn't say a god but that's how the strangers i think look at them and i think we'll probably find out a bit more info probably about that going forward but other than that very very good series go and check them out in my description and all of that and like and subscribe and all that fun stuff if you enjoyed my reaction please do the same and i'll see you guys on the next video keep it locked in peace out and leave me alone